A very good morning, good evening and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode on the Life of Signatures Radio. I hope you're doing well whatever place it is that you're tuned on to the show from whatever angle, from whatever continent, from whatever country. At whatever time, thank you so very much for doing this. This is a virtual incubator. It's an instructional podcast. It's a teaching podcast on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. Right now, we are in the middle of a series. We're talking about, uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about self-deficiency. And of the recent past, we've been talking about the different manifestations of self-deficiency. It's one, why are we doing this? We're saying that self-deficiency is one of the biggest enemies of our progress. As in when we feel we are not enough, even if we are, we cannot be able to succeed. So I'm going to continue talking about the manifestations of self-deficiency in the episode today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. A recap will help us here so that we can see where we have come from and uh, basically where we're going. That self-deficiency is an inner game. It's an internal working. It's a a problem inside. You cannot solve self-deficiency by using external means or like I buy a car, uh, I buy new new shoes, uh, buy a new house or whatever it is. You cannot throw money and things on self-deficiency. How many times have you seen someone who has it all in our own eyes? We think they have it all, but they are basically, I don't know what to say, but they are a bother to people because they feel self-deficient. It's an inner working. If you're going to solve self-deficiency, you're going to look inside. That's where it is solved. It comes, it might have been affected by the environment outside. But it's working, it's incubation is in the inside of you. So what are the manifestations of self-deficiency? We talked about this uh, in the previous episodes. We said that the first manifestation of self-deficiency is, guess what? It is self-doubt. Self-doubt. And we've said that these things, you know, they don't don't discriminate uh, a human being. They do not discriminate. They basically, it's available for all of us so to speak <laughs> and i shouldn't say available but all of us are susceptible to self-deficiency all of us are susceptible to self-doubt the other thing we talked about was low self-esteem and you can see that they are connected one way or another low self-esteem is connected to you know self-doubt And then we also talked about self-abasing. Huh? Self-abasing, where you are your biggest critic. And not just a critic in terms of you're reviewing your life, but you bash yourself so very much that you even lose your own stand in life. And you go around this world as in you, you don't need the devil. You've basically done your own work on yourself. Now, the result of that, another manifestation of self-deficiency is shrinking. 
Marianne Williamson told us there is nothing enlightened about shrinking. Right? What, what did she say exactly? There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that, I tell you what, I'm just going to look for this quote, the whole quote of Marianne Williamson and then we do it. It, it says, it goes like this. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Can you imagine? She's talking about inadequacy here and I'm talking about self-deficiency. Anyway, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are the child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. And here it is. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure about you or around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make the manifest, the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it's in all of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. End quote. That's Marianne William, Williamson in her book, A Return to Love, Reflections on Principles of a Cause in Miracles. It's been quoted, translated over and over again. She's talking about shrinking because self-deficiency makes people to shrink. She says there is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. What is shrinking? Is the just retreating either physically or virtually it's retreating from doing life because you feel that you don't measure up so you don't show up for the meeting you are shrinking you don't present your manual or your, your manuscript you are shrinking you've created something but you you feel it's unworthy you don't make it to see the light of the day you are doing what you're shrinking why are you shrinking? You're shrinking because you're feeling self-deficient. And in the context of feeling self-deficiency, shrinking refers to the tendency to minimize. Oh my goodness. You cut yourself to size. You minimize yourself. You minimize your will-be potential, you will be accomplishments, or even your presence. You don't appear, you don't show up. You're shrinking. And this can manifest in avoiding to taking up space, avoiding both physically and metaphorically, and downplaying one's potential and one's ability. It is a massive thing. And I know at some point in time, all of us have shrunk until someone came and encouraged us. And probably that's, that's what we need an encouragement someone to look into my soul and say you are a good man you are a strong man you are well able to do this there's nothing enlightened about shrinking when someone engages in shrinking behavior they feel they feel that they don't deserve they feel that they don't deserve your attention or our attention they feel that they don't deserve your recognition or our recognition and this can it can stem from a low self-esteem. We talked about this. Or uh, low self-belief. Or they believe that they are not as important as they ought to be. Or they are not as capable as others are. And so by shrinking themselves, they feel comfortable. They avoid potential criticism or failure. And the, it leads to Missed opportunities for guess what? For your own growth and your own fulfillment and your own development. It's an insidious thing, this self deficiency thing. Shrinking can be a response to external pressure or expectations. For example, someone may shrink themselves in social situations to avoid standing out. Or drawing attention to themselves. And I know we have personality profiles and all that stuff. I'm not talking about that. There are some people who do not want to be seen because their personality, you know, it's like that. 
But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about shrinking because you feel deficient, not because of your personality profile. So it can be driven by fear of judgment. You would feel I'm going to be judged. What are they going to say about me? What are they going to say about my shoes? What are they going to say about my voice? What are they going to say about my hairstyle? The fear of judgment. It's like you're in other people's you're in other people's prisons and they don't even know that they have imprisoned you, but you have imprisoned yourself in their minds. Fear of rejection fear of all these things so if we are going to continue shrinking we are limiting ourselves addressing this shrinking behavior has got to be done immediately this one is for adults for children and so on for children you will need to be a good parent and a good teacher good society but for an adult it involves recognizing and challenging these underlying beliefs and fears that continue to contribute to your self-deficiency. You've got to rise up and stop playing that CD. When it plays in your head and says you are deficient, you say no. Building self-confidence and assertiveness can help individuals to feel more comfortable. Taking up space, raising up your hand, saying I'm available. Having fun at life, counting yourself like I'm, 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 I'm alive, and I'm not going to care about what other people say. Of course, you should onboard people's opinions and so on. But let me tell you, you cannot be a prisoner of people's opinions, people's judgments. People will always talk. My pastor said, you will never go to the newspaper stand in the morning, and they tell you that there are no newspapers. You know why? Because people always talk. People will always talk. So you cannot be their prisoner. You cannot stop doing... You cannot shrink because people are going to talk. They will talk. Even when you shrunk, they are going to talk. She shrunk. Look at her. She's not even herself. They will talk. Whether you shrink or not, they will talk. So, I mean, just push that aside from your mind and do life. Do you. Show up. Put your foot step forward. One foot in front of another show up okay build your self-confidence build your assertiveness be more comfortable taking up chances taking up space owning your accomplishments as in trying and keep trying and keep trying even when they laugh i think someone said at first they ignore you and then they laugh at you and then they oppose you and then you win that's the process so don't shrink by all means if you need like i've been saying all along if you need to go to therapy if you need to see a counselor or something do so but you cannot let self-deficiency run supreme in your life it's a trap that we should all escape and we are the ones with the keys the keys we are the or our own warders in this prison we can let ourselves out Tomorrow, we'll continue talking about this. Until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.